Hello Virgo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for the second half of March coming in number one. Something that you guys have definitely graced my presence with throughout the whole duration of my channel. Virgos have always been so supportive, so I really appreciate it, everyone. Let's go ahead and get started on your bonus reading here. I was guided to pull from these three decks here, the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. I'll be using my deck, the Sunshine and Rainbows deck, and the Stay Inspired Oracle cards by Alex of Sister Moon Tarot. So let's go ahead and see what needs to come through here for you when it comes to your love connection, whatever it is that needs to come through at this time. And I felt it really important to perhaps start with some of the challenges that some of you guys might be going through right now. So I was just guided to use this deck for that. And it's general advice as always, guys. So please keep that in mind throughout this reading. All right, let's go ahead and grab some insight here. So I'm focusing, Virgo, on what might be challenging you at this point in time when it comes to your romantic life, your relationships, whether you are in an existing committed partnership or if you are in separation from somebody that you are thinking about at this time for your bonus reading. So let's allow the cards to communicate whatever needs to come through here for Virgo focusing on the challenges and whatever obstacles you might be going through right now. We have this trapped card coming through, stuck, tied down, and captive. Right off the bat, you're going to know if this is something that you can relate to, especially if you are feeling stuck or trapped in a situation, in a relationship. Maybe you are either unfulfilled or unhappy, and maybe you're sticking around for whatever reason it could be for some people due to security or financial reasons or it could be the comfortability factor of it you know you're just comfortable in the partnership but not really fulfilled take that if it makes sense but it is coming through here for some virgos all right we'll dig a little bit deeper when it comes to that the next card is mirror which is interesting this is a card of reflection shared feelings and then on the bottom there it says you so there's something here that's tied into your own energy virgo and maybe it's one of those things where you really have to take a look at yourself in the mirror and assess where you're at you know how do you really feel about the state of your affairs whether you are married whether you are in a committed partnership or again you're feeling trapped in a relationship where you just are not fulfilled it just doesn't check all the boxes there you know and maybe there's somebody and i'm getting this for a select few you could be trapped in a partnership but you could also be having some feelings with somebody else i don't know if there was a third party situation for some of you guys i'm getting here that there's some sort of blockage as far as being able to communicate with somebody that you have so much love for they have a lot of love for you but there could be some sort of blockage here because someone is in a relationship already and that might be preventing communication here we also have loss grief sorrow and pain so this for me is picking up off of that energy where you have suffered some sort of loss in your life whether a love connection that broke up you are in separation with somebody right now and that makes you very sad it hurts you that you guys are not together this could be a literal interpretation for some of you where a partner might have passed away okay that sense of loss that sense of grief take that if it if it applies and then bottom of the deck we've got exhaustion okay long journey depletion and fatigue and what i get for some of my virgos here is you've been through a very long journey when it comes to love when it comes to your romantic life when it comes to experiencing losses in your life whether that's romantic in nature or not this might have something to do with family or even 
relationships that could fall into the category of friendships, people at work perhaps that drain your energy. It could be so many things. So we're going to have to clarify with some tarot to see what this is about. All right, so I'm guided to pull from my tarot teacher, the revised edition here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm using this angle. You see this thing right here? It's my monitor. It's very glitchy. Doesn't always work. It's been working fantastically for like about a week or so. My husband's actually looking into some other solution for me to record my videos. But when it works, it's fantastic. When it doesn't, it's just a piece of furniture. <laughs> You know, so it is what it is. But anyway, these messages need to be conveyed and the show must go on, so to speak, you know. All right, let's grab some insight here. Focusing still on the challenges and the obstacles that you are going through at the time that you're listening to this. We do have the chariot, however. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer specifically. But this is actually a very good thing because going back to this card where you might be feeling stuck, maybe you feel like you're just incapable of creating any sort of movement in a situation. Again, whether that's pertaining to your love life or something else going on, the chariot is here to get you unstuck because this represents movement taking you towards a very different direction. And maybe it falls on you, Virgo, to do something about this because there's this need for action in order to create that movement in order to get yourself out of a situation that's draining you you know it's exhausting you it's almost like you don't have any fight left in you it's been a long journey it's been painful it's been a very difficult experience for you we do have the seven of cups coming up next so you've got water energy coming through here. I don't know if you've got water in your chart or the person you're thinking about could be a water sign. We've already got cancer right there. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or Pisces, or again, you could have those signs in your chart here. But what I'm ultimately feeling is you're not stuck. Maybe in your mind you feel stuck, but in reality, that could be a, a, a mental blockage of some sort because the seven of cups as well as the chariot right next to it, I feel you have options here. You can implement different choices in your life so that you can be free. Be free to love whoever it is that you want to love. Be free to pursue other goals and dreams in your life, whatever that is pertaining to look at these cards we've got these the ten of swords popping up here which is a very heavy painful energy that's what this is picking up off of that pain it could also be for some of you guys that you've experienced heartache or heartbreak and maybe there's a part of you that hasn't been able to either deal with it heal from it move on from it and that in and of itself, it makes sense. It's very exhausting to be to continue to carry that on your shoulders, you know. And so maybe there's a part of you that really is feeling defeated, almost like you can't fix this or you don't know how. But you actually can. So it's just a matter of you being able to realize that you don't have to stay in that energy where you are tied down to something or someone. You don't have to feel trapped or stuck. You can move away from that type of vibe and make better choices, make different choices, heal from whatever this Ten of Swords represents because this more than likely represents a relationship that fell apart. Could have been an unexpected breakup or it could have just been you finally coming to the decision that you needed to cut this person out of your life because there was something about it that couldn't continue. But I'm also feeling by you doing that, it really hurt you somehow because the love, you love this person. 
but there is something about it that could not continue. Seven of Pentacles, okay? Even though you've been through some stuff and it's been some major stuff, very draining, very painful. You're meant to grow from this experience though, Virgo. And as long as you are continuing to throw that energy and effort into yourself, you're not going to be stuck forever. You're not going to feel trapped forever. That's why this chariot card is here, to get you away from that type of mentality, that, that way of living, that way of thinking. Seven of Pentacles is known to be a gestation period, which is why I like to refer to it as a wait and see card there's something here that's brewing that needs a little bit more time to unfold so give it a little bit more time virgo i have a feeling the universe has your back somehow and you're not meant to continue to wallow in this type of energy and here's that heaviness that i was talking about earlier ten of wands represents that heavy burden that you have been carrying and it's time to lay it down. And yeah, you've experienced something here where it feels like an uphill struggle. You know, it's like pushing this massive boulder up a hill and that boulder keeps wanting to come down on you. So yeah, it's depleting. It's exhausting. Whatever that boulder represents, whatever that heaviness represents, it's time for you to lay it down because you're meant for better. Look at this, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. If some of that heaviness, that uneasiness is pertaining to your money matters, your finances, maybe that's been very difficult for you. For some of you guys, maybe you feel trapped in a dead end job. Maybe you're just not happy with what you are doing at this point in time. And remember, you can create movement and you can get yourself out of there. And the Ten of Pentacles, when it comes to your finances, it's telling you basically that things are going to be improving drastically when it comes to your financial security, your long-term success in that area. When it comes to your romantic life, this as well is an excellent card coming through, a strong bond that you feel with somebody, whether that results in a reconnection despite distance and separation for two people who are meant to be. It's just one of those things where you got to just trust that the universe will deliver you where you're meant to be. Ten of Pentacles could take you down a road where you either reconnect with somebody that makes you really happy and they're coming towards you to be able to, be able to offer you more security in the partnership, the stability that could have been missing before. Maybe they've worked very hard on being able to be a better provider or to be able to meet you halfway in a partnership. Because this can sometimes indicate a person who really can be your perfect match in this lifetime, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's smooth sailing because every relationship has its ups and downs, you know? But there's a reason here why we have three tens popping up here guys three tens tens represent completion there's a cycle that is wanting to complete here for you so maybe this is the universe's way of telling you what you've been through Yes, it's a part of your journey, or it has been, and it's a part of your life's history, but it doesn't have to be the rest of your story. It's time for you to welcome in the energy of that chariot to be able to move forward and to find success in your romantic life, to find success in your career, your life purpose, your other relationships. Okay, so that's coming through as far as the challenges and obstacles that might be standing in the way for some of you guys. Now let's go ahead and grab some lighter energy. I'll be pulling from my sunshine and rainbows deck here. And this does focus 
mainly on your love connections, your romantic partnerships. Let's go ahead and see what that energy looks like at the time that you're tuned in to your bonus reading, Virgo. All right, let's see. We do have the dog. All right, so some of you guys could, of course, have a pet, have a love of dogs in particular. And this does pick up off of the Chinese Zodiac as well. So if you know that your partner is representing the dog's energy, maybe that's why it's coming through or you know somebody who fits this description. So the Chinese Zodiac birth years for the dog, 1922, 34, 46, 58, 1970, 1982, and so forth. Chinese Zodiac years, it occurs every 12 years. So just calculate it if you're birth year or your person's isn't here so it does say once trust has been established you will find that you've got a very loyal partner in this love connection there's nothing they won't do for you if you're looking for a companion who has a kind heart loves to have fun and will be there for you no matter what your search is over now for some of you guys this represents somebody that you've already been with or somebody that you are with, but you guys are just having some issues right now, maybe. If not, if you're single and unattached and just ready to move forward and find love, you could connect with somebody like that. This isn't somebody who's going to hurt you and betray your trust. And we have seen that there is a possibility that that might have happened for some of you with cards like the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Very painful. We do have Honesty coming up next. Look at these cards, guys. And we have Trust. You see, there's something popping up here when it comes to the trust factor of a relationship. And I have a feeling that might have been compromised. That's why it's coming through. So we have honesty, open communication in a partnership. Their integrity is very important to them, doesn't beat around the bush, just tells it like it is, very straightforward. This could also be describing how you are, that you are the type to be open and honest in a relationship, but you might have dealt with somebody who created trust issues. And then we have the trust card right here, a strong bond that can withstand distance or time an understanding that is unspoken but felt deep inside your hearts no doubts no fears no apprehension no hesitation this is the one who will always be there to catch you when you fall so either you work it out with the person that you are having issues with so that you can re-establish trust and to be honest with each other and to get past some of the difficulties that you guys have endured as we've seen in the first section that we've already looked at and if not again if you're open to the possibilities of what the future and uh, future love connections that you could make this is somebody that you can trust this isn't someone that's going to hurt you and maybe this person has also experienced relationships where somebody hurt them lied to them kept things from them so maybe you guys are on the same page and having experienced similar things you know that could be a new connection that some of you guys end up making okay so let's go ahead and grab some tarot here i'm going to pull from my modern day seers tarot and oracle tarot with a twist and for those of you who aren't familiar with this deck i created it especially for advanced beginners who are wanting to learn how to read tarot very similar to my tarot teacher deck but this one the twist here it includes new oracle messages as well as new court cards in addition to all of the usual tarot messages of course so let's grab some insight here for you virgo and see what else we can tap into all right I love it. You've got the sun. So even though you have been through some trying times and you're, you're tired, you're fatigued, you're depleted by what we've already seen, what you've endured, what you have been through, the pain, the loss, the, the heartbreak, you are meant to find happiness once again. You really are. 
Now, part of the interpretation of the sun as well, as you can see right there in the upright representations, is freedom. And how perfect is that considering the very first card that came through was this. So it's temporary. You're not meant to feel trapped forever. You've got the sun here to illuminate a very different path for you. To find success, to find happiness, to be happy in love, romance, career, life purpose, to find fulfillment in your life, for you to enjoy life, plain and simple. To be able to attract the right kind of love your way so that you don't have to get your heart broken so that you don't have to deal with trust issues and things of that nature more tens but this is a good one you've got the ten of cups right here okay so all of the tens are popping up in this reading for you virgo telling you again and reconfirming that there are cycles that really do want to complete so maybe the past is the past leave it where it is focus more so on what you can do about maintaining where you're at in in the present day in order to be able to manifest such a beautiful relationship and future with somebody this ten of cups could lead you down a road that could represent a dream that can manifest for you as far as love is concerned it could also for some of you and it's possible if you guys are on the same page represent a reunion for two people who are estranged for two people who are not together it can represent restoring harmony in a relationship where things come back into alignment for the two of you it can either represent marriage and families if you're single if you're unattached this could be what it is that you are meant to experience somewhere down the line it could also be for some of you guys that you're already married but went through some trying times there could have been affairs there could have been infidelities whatever that heaviness that heavy burden represents it could be for some of you that there is a possible reunion here that you guys can ultimately restore the trust and work it out whatever that might represent we do have the oak tree the mighty oak tree coming through warm friendly protective action taker spiritual power courage and determination so this is telling you here virgo that despite the journey that you've been on and some of the difficult moments the ups and downs that you have experienced it's time for you to take action in order to find your happiness here we do have the devil's energy now some of you guys could have been dealing with a capricorn or are dealing with a capricorn you could have capricorn in your chart the devil card how fitting once again can sometimes represent bondage or feeling bound addictive behavior obsessive behavior unhealthy attachments unhealthy relationships temptations it can represent all of those things which is why this came through first so this could have been a part of your story once again that could be representing a darker energy but remember you've got the sun coming through here to let you know that there are better days ahead the rainbow will come out you know the sun will come out and will illuminate a much better path for you to find your happiness in life okay so that's not where you're meant to stay feeling stuck unable to create movement you've got the chariot coming through remember so you're not meant to just be stuck in your life and feel like you're going to have to deal with a situation where you're unhappy for the rest of your life life is too short to to be feeling stuck and based off of the cards that have presented itself here things will start moving for you and go in the right direction all right virgo and lastly i wanted to grab some cards from the stay inspired oracle cards by sister moon tarot angels and spirit guides please for virgo so some final advice for your bonus reading here virgo what's the advice starting with this one we have a message maybe there's somebody who's wanting to communicate with you 
Communication is needed. Communication is coming. Read between the lines. Speak your truth. Okay, that's important for you guys to both speak your truth because that was perhaps a part of the problem why you guys were dealing with some issues to begin with because of the lack of trust as we've already seen. We do have the Divine Masculine coming through masculine energy, logical, straightforward, honest, hands-on, action-oriented. So we have a masculine here who recognizes that if they're going to reach out to you, they better come towards you correct. They better be open and honest and coming from a place of authenticity. Wow. Listen, okay. It's interesting, you know, through communication, it is very important for you to be able to listen to what this person has to say. And it's just as important for them to be able to listen and understand your point of view. The verbiage for this card does say the universe is speaking to you in subtle ways. Speak less and listen more. So the universe really wanting to grab your attention here. And last card, we have cleanse. All right. So this card does say clear your energy, make room for new energy, new mindsets, new relationships, new adventures, new beginnings, however way that makes sense for you, whether it's a new person, a new chapter, a new door, a new opportunity, a new direction. It's time to cleanse the energies of the past because it's no longer serving a purpose for you. Okay, so let's clarify that with some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Luna Tarot deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo, for this bonus reading. So the Divine Masculine wants to reach out, as we see here. They're ready to talk. So Divine Feminine, are you ready to listen? All right, what else? They know that there has to be equality in the partnership. 50-50, equal investment. Because as long as there's one person in this equation that isn't fully invested in the relationship to try to work this out, then you're back to square one, you know? And I feel you've already been there, Virgo. And they're telling you here, especially from this Divine Masculine, they're going to be able to give as much as they take this time they're really wanting to share their life with you and this is a reminder of where you've been we've already seen this card that ten of swords so there could be a part of you virgo that's feeling hesitant maybe a little apprehensive because they hurt you so deeply and perhaps that's a part of the energy that needs to be cleansed because again the past is no longer serving a purpose if you can find it in your heart to be able to forgive perhaps it could be something as simple as can we talk and it's up to you to decide at that point whether this person is able to come back into your life if you will allow that that could go both ways you know this is what they want that two of cups they see you as their ideal mate either a twin flame or a soulmate they feel the love with you they see you as a life partner this represents happy times ahead a new beginning in love for some of you it can represent a new person okay so if you're really not interested in wanting to revisit a connection with somebody that you broke up with you guys are in separation maybe you had a very painful breakup this can represent new love a new person as well as happier times ahead but if you are interested in a reunion despite the very difficult journey that you have been on with this person they are coming towards you perhaps with better intentions and really wanting to explore the opportunities of where this could go you know, but it clarifies that more than likely you did walk away from this person or for some of you, you want to stick with that decision. You walked away and you're done and that's okay because you are being given another opportunity to find love. 
divine feminine coming through as the empress we already see the masculine energy so we now have the feminine energy coming through here and i feel divine feminines you have the capability to create whatever the heck it is that you want anything and everything that you want to be able to manifest in your life whether that's a reconnection with your masculine whether that is to take things in a very different direction and create something else for yourself whether it's pertaining to your love life or other parts of your life that's totally your call we've got the magician coming in tools of manifestation because that's exactly what you're being given the power to manifest anything and everything that you desire the magician is here to help you achieve it whether it's love whether it's starting over in your life in so many varying ways you can attract what it is that you are focused on one of my favorite quotes that I heard, I, be, I don't even know if it's originally by Tony Robbins, but I heard him say this, where focus goes, energy flows. So what it is that you choose to focus on, Virgo, is where you are directing all of your energy and that very thing is what's going to manifest. If you are directing it towards the pain that you have endured and someone from your past, that could explain why some of you are feeling stuck but if you're able to shift that energy and focus more so on improving the quality of your life love life as well as every aspect of your life then that is where that energy will flow to be able to help you manifest so much more bottom of the deck look at this you've got the six of wands representing victory victory and success that is the direction that the universe is wanting wanting you to go towards and all you need to do is trust and listen all right guys so that is where i'm going to leave this bonus reading i do hope that you were able to resonate with the messages that came through here for this one if you're interested in your own personal private reading that information is down below thank you guys so much i'll see you next time